What do you get when you combine a top-notch high school culinary program, experienced chefs from Pocono Mountain Resorts and Restaurants, a heaping portion of local food, a dash of community spirit, add in a supportive school district, and mix it all together in an entrepreneurial kitchen incubator and event space. Why chefs on fire, of course. One of the things that you know happened prior to the pandemic was we were supposed to work with Wal Mompack high school kids on a restaurant night for the kids. They were gonna run the front of the house, back of the house, we were gonna have, sell tickets and make it a restaurant here. Unfortunately, COVID ended those plans and I'd say probably three months ago, my partner Jay and I were, you know, sitting sitting around here talking about, you know, what can we do here? How do we help some of the people in the market who were devastated by this, right? Like that, you know, we're trying to run restaurants. They're trying to get into the restaurant business. And um, knowing that we had that relationship with Clay at Wall Palm Pack, I reached out and said, hey, would you be interested in doing some sort of competition, a to-go night um, for the kids to come to the kitchen and, you know, do barbecue and we'd sell tickets and people could vote on it. and. You know, he loved the idea and it sort of steamrolled from there. So one of the things that's fascinating to me about this whole project is the level at which the community uh, supports its, its children, in this case through the schools. Uh, there was nothing that the community members who supported this event wouldn't have done for our, for our kids. It's one of the hallmarks of this community is how uh, community supports its students. This inaugural event brought together private, public and community partners to raise money for the Wayne County Community Foundation's Emergency Food Relief Fund. Students from Welland Paul Pack's Culinary Arts III class, under the supervision of Chef Lewis, were tasked with preparing meals from the best barbecue regions in the country. To prepare for this challenge, the aspiring chefs worked with three of the area's top chefs to gain some industry tricks and tips in preparing mouth-watering cuisine. Their first stop, a visit to the Inn at Woodlock with Chef Dan Corcoran. Following a tour of the expansive kitchen facilities, Chef Corcoran discussed the best way to approach the project, highlighting the best equipment and techniques for preparing their menu. A week later, students met with Chef Caleb Johnson, owner and chef at Native, a restaurant quickly rising in the ranks of top eateries in the Poconos. Here, the students experienced firsthand how to prepare one of Native's signature dishes under Chef Johnson's direction. The last stop on the tour was at Here and Now, a top restaurant and brewery in Honesdale. Chef Ben Cooper prepares his menu using as much locally sourced food as possible. Today, he received half a pig from a local farm and shows the students how to break down the meat and the best cuts to use for the dishes on his menu. Following the experiences with the local chefs, the students had to break down the menu and figure out the quantity of food they would need to produce 70 meals. When approached for the event, Dave Super Duper donated almost all of the food for the menu to graciously support the event. The week of the event quickly arrived. The food was delivered, and with the help of the students and other culinary classes, the young chefs started the work of preparing almost 30 different items on the menu under the watchful guidance and training of Chef Lewis. The final stage of meal preparation was to take place Thursday, April 15th at the Hop Barons Kitchen in Honesdale. So we have Hop Barons, which is our barbecue spice and rub company. Um, we've been around since 2015 and we make a different line, a variety of, of barbecue rubs and seasonings. Um, and then we also have Hop Barons Kitchen, which is the space we have here. The kitchen space was created to serve local entrepreneurs and incubate food-based businesses, as well as hosting small events. Only one task remained, how to transport the food from the prep kitchens in the high school to the Hot Barons kitchen. Remax Wayne, a local realtor, volunteered the use of their box truck for the day. In a flurry of activity, preparations are completed, and the day of the event finally arrives. According to Chef Lewis, the day of the event is when the magic happens, and it's her favorite part of the process. 
You know, you can plan an event and and as a past caterer, that's that's what you do. Sometimes you book events a, a year in advance. And so you spend that year doing other things, of course, but that event is always on your mind. You're always looking at that menu. And the day of the event, you're right, that's where the magic happens. That's where all of that prep, all of that work, all of that thinking comes in, in, in to fruition in the form of really delicious food. And then we get to serve that food to the public. Um, it certainly is where the magic happens. Everything is packed and prepared for transport on the truck, driven to Hodensdale and unloaded at the Hop Baron's Kitchen. The plan for the day involves packaging individual meals to be picked up at prearranged times throughout that evening. The first pickup start at 5 p.m., so the student chefs have five hours to package 50 meals consisting of over 30 menu items. Each meal features three regions, and news soon follows that the event is sold out. The first region featured is the Piedmont and Low Country. The menu includes barbecued pulled pork with a Piedmont sauce, hush puppies, sweet potato steak fries, coleslaw, low country tomato pie, stuffed zucchini with Parmesan cream, Carolina red rice, black eyed pea salad, soft rolls, and pickles. Memphis is next on the menu with bacon wrapped meatloaf and gravy, smashed red potatoes, Memphis Minis pot liquor greens, grilled corn with chive butter, macaroni and cheese, smothered leeks, tomato cobbler with ramp aioli, five bean salad, soft rolls, and pickles. And last but not least, the Texas Hill Country and the Golden Triangle with Texas-styled smoked pork ribs with straight-up barbecue sauce, creamed corn and ramps, potato salad with house bacon and scallions, cowboy beans with burnt ends, fried pickles, red bean jambalaya, mock show, macaroni coleslaw, tomato and scallion salad, and of course, soft rolls and pickles. The chefs that mentored the students prior to the event arrive to support their students and taste the final results. But there's one more step before the food can be picked up. A celebrity panel of highly skilled taste testers, including Mike Silsby, superintendent of the Wallenpawpack Area School District, Ryan Jennings, executive director of the Wayne County Community Foundation, and guest chef Keegan Marchand from the French Manor Inn and Spa evaluated the meals to give them their final seal of approval. The kids did an outstanding job. Everything is delicious. I really can't pick a favorite because it's all great. I am just so proud of these kids and I'm so full because everything today was delicious. Um, I had no idea that we would get so many options of things to taste and I loved all of it. Everything from the homemade bread to the ribs, I, I think it's all amazing and uh, you can really tell that they're having fun. Pickup time finally arrives and the meals are delivered to waiting cars. As the event winds down and the cleanup begins, a group of very tired chefs begin the process of cleaning and packing up. So was all the work worth it? The community has raised almost $4,500 to go to the Wayne County Community Foundation's Emergency Food Relief Fund, which is purchasing uh, local dairy, eggs, and produce from our farmers and putting them right into the homes of communities that need a little more support right now. It was a very long event. It took a lot of hours to do, like within one day. And at the end of the day, we just were very proud and whatever we had left over, we just gave away at the end also. And um, it's, it's definitely something that like will inspire you. Yeah, it was a lot of work, so it's like a culmination of like all my years here, kind of. Like all of the things I've worked towards all in one night, so that was pretty nice. And then people besides myself enjoyed it too, so it wasn't just me benefiting. And so at the end of the night, we got to give all the leftover food to the community that, that's in need. So it was nice to actually like get a learning experience from it and then the community benefits from it. So it's like a two-in-one, I guess. I had a blast. I know my other senior classmates had a blast. This was definitely something that I think we should keep on doing. Um, I, I think yeah, 
everyone can benefit from this. Uh, and I, I just, like, thank you to everyone that, that made this happen. It, it was definitely the highlight of my senior year. If you missed the Chefs on Fire event this year, no worries. We hear there are upcoming events being planned to transport you and your taste buds to exotic locations around the world without ever leaving the Pocono Mountains.